So a crap and welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by pbcphuket.com. I'm Chris Housen, filling in for JP Mustanza. Now these are the stories making waves in Phuket for Thursday, April 25th. Brake failure has been blamed for an accident in Ratsada yesterday morning where a 10-wheeled truck took out a traffic light before slamming into a car care shop. Police were informed of the accident just before noon yesterday, with officers arriving at the scene opposite Decondo Campus Resort to find the damaged truck after ramming into the car care shop. Luckily, neither the driver of the truck nor anyone else was injured in the accident, which the driver told police was due to his brakes failing. Police are now investigating the incident. A cable theft at the Phuket Airport underpass on Tepkisetri Road has left the underpass in darkness and caused other system failures in the area, the effects of which will last for several more days. The office has already announced its plans for repair works scheduled to commence over the upcoming weekend, which are anticipated to last between four and five days, with the underpass closing to traffic for the duration of the work. The damage caused by the theft has been described as extensive to the electrical infrastructure. Local authorities are now appealing to the general public for any information that may help with this investigation. More than 500 million bought in untaxed cigarettes and alcohol and illegal e-cigarettes have been seized in raids across Phuket by the Department of Provincial Administration. Describing the raids as a significant victory in the fight against organized crime, the governor explained that the arrests and seizure of illegal goods targeted a specific network of operators. The raids took place across the island yesterday, with the confiscated items being taken to Phuket and Katu police stations for further legal proceedings, while three suspects were also arrested during the raids. In a bid to enhance safety and law enforcement for tourists, the Prime Minister has directed the Royal Thai Police to develop a comprehensive strategy known as the Phuket Model, aiming to address illegal activities and ensure the well-being of visitors in popular tourist destinations. Among the report detailed measures to prevent illegal activities by foreign visitors in Phuket, including the establishment of a comprehensive database to inform tourists of prohibited actions, collaboration with relevant authorities to combat foreign criminal organizations, and strict enforcement of laws governing foreign car rental operators. The PM also added that the government was committed to addressing long-standing challenges such as water shortages and infrastructure improvements to support the tourism industry in Phuket. And Phuket is preparing for an extra 1 million tourists from China this year following a highly successful tourism promotion in three Chinese cities. The amazing Phuket Roadshow to China 2024 was coordinated by the PPAO with the Phuket Tourist Association, with 35 Phuket tourism operators promoting Phuket as a tourist destination in Guangzhou, Greater Shanghai, and Chengdu. The Phuket Tourist Association hopes this campaign will help the number of Chinese visitors to return to the pre-COVID levels for 2025 and beyond. That's all for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For more on all these stories and more, please visit thephuketnews.com. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure, bricks-and-mortar investment, offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.